You, you mentioned earlier about the um, the eastern uh, border of the city uh, being uh, uh, Gardena and LAPD sure. territory. I, I wondered if you could discuss the, if there's any overlap in controlling and investigating crimes along that. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, um, sorry about that. You know, our, our police department uh, implemented a, a regional crime mapping uh, forum. It's the first of its kind anywhere, I think, that I've heard of where I've actually had crime data from LAPD, LA Sheriff's, Torrance, Redondo, Hermosa, Manhattan, El Segundo, Inglewood. So we share all that data because borders and boundaries are important. And for us, we looked at the crimes that are occurring in Southeast Division, which is our border, bordering division with LAPD, and we saw that, you know, they have a lot of crime. They do. It's, it's a difficult area, I'm sure, for them to police. But that also translates into crimes that occur in our city because people come and they see opportunity. Um, and there is a lot of opportunity in Gardena. It's, you know, it's really the first, I, I, I look at it as, you know, the first bright spot as you, as you come into this area. We're an incorporated city that's small, that still has a lot of, um, you know, uh, very attractive businesses and residents. So we do have to make a lot of effort to police that. At the same time, LAPD is making a lot of great advancements in, in, in what they're doing in partnerships and, and reducing crime in that area. So um, a couple months ago, we began a program where we're putting one of our officers with one of LAPD's officers to, bo to, to specifically target that area that we border with each other so we can share intelligence so that we can get together and, and look at what's going on in our respective communities and work together on these problems. Because if a robbery occurs on one side of Vermont, are, are we saying that that same robber wouldn't cross the street and do it on our side? Of course he would. So we have to work together. So now, uh, I think they're doing it once a week, we partner up with one of our officers and one of their officers and they patrol that whole border area. So that's, that's one of the unique things we've done recently.